Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. We want to draw attention to some important issues happening in women's health today. So joining us, we have certified nurse midwife and frontier nursing faculty member Vicki Burslin with us. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here today. And we understand some guidelines have changed about when women should be getting pap smears and, and mammograms. Right. So why don't That's you tell right. us what, what's the new research with pap smears? Okay. Pap smears have been around for over 60 years and we know it's a really effective method of, of detecting mm -hmm. cancer or precancer changes, abnormal cells in the cervix. When it first came out, it was so effective, it quickly it became the standard to get an annual pap smear starting shortly after a woman became sexually active. So even in her teenage years, it was recommended to have one. Well now with newer research and new mm -hmm. testing techniques, we recommend, we realize that we don't need that, that there's more harm than good. The, the balance with screening is you want to screen frequently enough mm -hmm. so that you don't miss cancer, but you don't want to screen too frequently so that you have more harm than good. And that's what the testing showed, all the research showed, that we don't need as frequent testing for pap smears. So now, you don't even need one until you're age 21. Okay. And even at, at between age 21 and 29, it's every three years. After age 30, what they recommend is co-testing, which is pap test, plus testing for human papillomavirus, okay. the HPV that a lot of mm -hmm. people have heard about. That's yeah. the virus associated with ca cervical cancer mm -hmm. changes. If, the, if you do pap smear plus HPV and they're negative, a woman only needs a pap test every five years. Oh, that's wow. a big change that's for people. That's a change, yeah. Yes, and it's hard because we're all very uh, knowledgeable and mm -hmm. we've been uh, shown definitely go every year. So that's right. a real change for women to trust and to go by those new guidelines. Oh, so what are the new guidelines for mammograms? The mammograms is a little murkier. Okay. Uh, American College of Obstetrician and Gynecologists still recommends starting at age 40. It used to be even some people would recommend getting a baseline mammogram between 35 and 39. Mm -hmm. But we know that we really don't need one until age 40. But other organizations when they look at the research like American Cancer Society is suggesting to possibly give the woman the option option of starting between age 40 and 44 and not starting annual exams necessarily until age 45. The issue is evidence-based practice is based on three things. Mm -hmm. It's the research, it's the expertise of your provider, looking at your individual breast uh, breast cancer risk factors and also the philosophy of the woman that comes in. Some people want as much testing as possible. Others like, well, what does the research say? Is this beneficial or is it something that I can delay and have more, uh, less frequently? Okay. And do women still need to go see their general care practitioner yes. even if you don't need one of these tests? Absolutely. Okay. You should see your nurse midwife, your nurse practitioner, your family physician, or your OBGYN provider every year because there's all sorts of other things that we have to test okay. for, right? Yes. Cholesterol, yes. hypertension, mm -hmm. diabetes, all those things, weight management, sad to say. I know, <laughs> especially this time of year. That's right? exactly. We're not going to talk about that today. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Always thank great you. information from Frontier Nursing. Stay with us after the break. We'll check in again with Elise back at the castle.